Is that a gek? Suck on that, buddy! Welcome back to No Man's Sky. This is the Book of Bob. We are in episode number three of this permadeath gameplay series for 2022. And we've got our first ship, and now we need to start making some money. Let's see, I'm going to need... Let's start with this. So the plan here is to take these maps we purchased and look for distress signals of downed ships. And, well, take the ships and then scrap them and keep the money. Distress signal. Now, unfortunately, some of these ships will have pilots, but uh, we'll deal with that. Don't worry, we're here to help. We're here to help ourselves, that is. Now, one of the things with maps is they will only engage if the signal source they're detecting is a new source. So if you don't get what you're looking for, leave that marker on the map and keep trying until the only thing left is what you are looking for. And you can repeat the process with pretty much certainty from then on. Ooh, I'll take that. Let's get some technology out of this, please. Uh, perhaps it's a message to a loved one. Let's go for the tech. Economy scanner. Score. Things are looking up for Bob. Alright, I got a little B-class upgrade, and that gives me... Oh, wow, that gives me 43k for that? Hell yeah. 8k for that? Let's scan some stuff and make some money. It's not really piracy, though, is it? It's almost like working. Hmm. Hmm. Bob doesn't like working. All right, we got another distress signal. Let's go continue helping people out. Come on. There it is. Oh, that's a cool looking one. All right, what do we got here? We have... A B-class. Fighter. Heavy fighter. Nice. Alright, what do we got? Take that. Take that. Take that. Throw that away. Not bad. There we go. Let's get some more tech. Come on, baby. The interior of the downed craft is a patchwork of technology, possibly scavenged from multiple ships. Portly corpse of a dead, beaked light form sprawls on the control panel. Clearly the deceased had a penchant for the finer things in life. The cargo hold is secured by some of the homemade security systems, like the rest of the ship. It's a mishmash of technology activating. It could be tricky. Let's search to the pilot. Tech. Nice. Hazmat gauntlets. Take it. Not only are we grabbing ships that we can later scrap for parts we can sell for money as well as nanites, but we're also going to build up our technology base by doing this because each down ship has a piece of technology if we do it right. Observatory. Not interested. Distress signal detected. Well, we're here to help. You just call Bob. Oh wait, that's ooh a hostile scan. Yes, come get you some hostile scan. Who is it? We offer a trade deal, friend. Your units or your life. Uh, come get you some. Very well, friend. Come on. When engaging on a new career as a crime lord, it's important to let the locals know who's in charge. Give me that. Hold on. Alright. Sorry, dude. I'm broke. I gotta pick up all the cargo I can. Sweet. Alright. I have a bad feeling there's a life form here. Some of these downed ships will actually have the pilot still alive there, and based on the game mechanics, you can't do anything about it, unfortunately. 
but I have devised a few methods that hmm, at least make me feel better about myself. Dude, that one's worth 20 million. Come on, baby. Come on, baby. Mine. Skittle hand is clutching something. Plasma launcher. He had a picture of his mate and a plasma launcher. Hmm. That's a little sus right there. As the kids say. In the beginning stages of your criminal empire, it's important to be frugal. Make sure you break down all the technology in the ships so that you can get the individual components and sell them later. Okay, so distress signal and distress beacon, I've gotten the crash ship from both of them. I've had people tell me those were different things. But uh, it does not appear that they are. All right, let's go see what we got over here. Hey, Sentinel. Whoa, look at this. That's what I'm talking about. Unending sunlight as the sun goes down. How'd that work out for you there, buddy? Ah, nearby life form observes me as I approach. Damn it. Give me the ship. Give it to me. Give me your ship. You. Give me the ship. I'm not helping you. First hauler. And uh, this jack wagon's here. Now, good luck, buddy. I'm going to wait for you to die and I'll come back and get it. There we go. Another hauler. It's better not have a gex sitting next to it. Got it. Really should have gone to my base first to get the train manipulator. I'm giving up so much buried technology by not having it. Every crash ship is also going to have some buried technology that you can salvage near the wreckage. Ooh. Ooh, ooh, ooh. We've got to get enough money to get a better multi-tool so that we can protect ourselves and be more efficient. Hey, dude, I got some silver. It's in my ship, though. Oh, damn, dude. That's a horrible price. Sell my Gecknip. All right, let's get this economy scanner installed. Get that. Hey, dude, you gotta, you want to give me a new multi-tool? That'd be awesome. All right, what were you wanting? I wasn't paying attention. I'm going to pay attention this time, okay? Lifeform's eyes widen in surprise when I talk to them. They lean back and watch for sudden movements. They must be unused to visitors, visitors wandering in from the sweltering heat. They've clearly never seen anything quite like me before. Friend, Gek Trader. Gek Trader. Friend. Um, sodium. Okay, whatever. Take it. Let's say crash freighter. Yeah, I'm not interested in a crash freighter. Distress signals. I'm here to help people. Dang, I got so carried away with this one that I didn't realize I had all six ships that I could have. I forgot about the Radiant Pillar, to be honest with you. So, uh, yeah, I just wasted this one. But uh, now it's time to head to the station and uh, scrap some ships, somehow, without the anomaly. Or fixing them, because I'm cheap. Well, dang it, that was a waste. Well, it didn't occur to me that I can't sell any of these ships until I fix them or... Get a teleporter so let's go get a uh, base computer usually i would use the anomaly trick but i haven't been to the anomaly and i'm not planning at this point to go to the anomaly i may have to
All right, hopefully that's where we're heading. This one's already open. All right, sweet. All right, this is our base computer. Nice. Give me the plans. And the freaking terrain manipulator. Ah, damn, I don't have room for it. Um, yeah, that's a blueprint, so we'll do that one. Got it. Now we can finally grab all that salvaged data that's been buried underground. This is super dangerous. So I found this cavern to start my underground base in, but it is dangerous because it will teleport your ship here inside and it's possible that you get stuck and uh, your ship could blow up. So uh, yeah, be careful. All right, so let's build a base real quick. I'm gonna need to go find a little bit more salvage tech. That's interesting. I must have put it underground. Oh well. With the storm rolling in, we have got to go search down some more buried technology modules so that we can progress the quest and build a teleporter as well as fuel it with the biofuel reactor. Whoa, that was bad. Remember kids, eating your meat doesn't help if your shields aren't all the way down. Health is only restored once you have full shields. All right, so throwing down a teleporter and a biofuel reactor not only progresses the quest line, but it'll allow us to teleport to the space station with one of our crashed ships so that we can scrap it. Investigate the space station. I wonder if I can go there since I've already been. Can. Oh, somebody else's base. Mm -hmm -hmm. Should we go check it out? All right, let me freak out these guys real quick. What's up, dude? <laughs> oh, my ship's facing the wrong way. That's not good. So now because I have traveled through the teleport network to the space station and then back again through some voodoo magic I don't understand, I can call all of my crashed ships to me to land. I think this mechanic is in place so that we don't lose these things, but uh, we're going to take advantage of it and we're going to then teleport back to the station and scrap them. Prophecy of Jeopardy. Okay. Mm what is a ship I'm going to scrap, Alex? I did not check to see how much room I have. Apparently I have enough, though. Nice. Ooh, chlorine. So what do I, what am I in now? 
Radiant Pillar. All right, let's scrap the Radiant Pillar. Melt it. All right, I got a couple more to do. This will take a minute because I have to go back and forth. But that's okay. And here we go. Dang, 5.5 million? Yes, please. Shit. All right, let's try again. Eight million. A little more leg work and I will be good. I like this model. I'm gonna have to find this one. All right, last one. All right, and 2,400 nanites. 11 million big ones. Happy, happy. All right, so now that we've got some walking around money, let's go to a trade post with our economy scanner and see if we can find a better ship. But first I wanna double check the surrounding planets and make sure I'm not missing any obvious resources. All right, what is this? Quagmire, okay. Giggity, giggity. All right. Shattered planet. Frozen moon. What do we got here? Scorched moon. All right. Shattered. Scalding. Flagmire. Glacial. I noticed a distress beacon on my way to the trade post, so I changed course to go see if we could help. Is that a geck? You die! What are you gonna do about it? Suck on that, buddy. <laughs> I had no idea you could do that, but it makes me so happy. Good luck. <laughs> Pirate Bob. Pirate Bob. Stuck the landing. Like a pro. Ooh, no, I like that. Hmm, probably flies like crap though, doesn't it? Yeah, you think so too? After waiting around on the trade post for a little while, I decided to go grab the salvage container within range and see what I get. Oh, this is the one that gets me shot, isn't it? It is. All right. Well, it's, I can't remember how this works, but uh, let's go for it. Well, that's not bad. What's wrong? Did I kill you? Oh, did that thing eat you? Oh, my bad. Stuff happens. Not bad, we made a quick 800K on that deal. All right guys, if you enjoyed this video, please hit that like button. Make sure you're subscribed to the channel with notifications so you know when we drop the next one. I'm gonna hang out here for a little while and look for some more ships. Thank you so much for watching. Remember guys, if you're gonna be a Bob, have fun with it. And if you find some little gex guarding a ship, don't be afraid to take them out.